Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Maz Naturals. And if you're new to my channel, then do press that subscribe button. I do videos every week on locks, fitness, skincare, vlogs, and my faith. So if you're interested in any of those topics, then do hit that subscribe button. Now, today's video is going to be a Q&A, a longer way to q and A. I've I've done a QA and a before, which was a live one. And this one, um, I've just got a few questions that people have sent in. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you see me looking down, it's because I've written the questions out. So I've got my notes right in front of me. So let's kick this off. So the first question, which is um, quite funny because I can actually show you this question. So this is from Robin as what? And the question is, do you retwist your hair when you do a braid out? That's a good question because this is a braid out and no, I don't always retwist my hair. I used to in the past retwist my hair, but I found because my hair is not, it's not full, thick, thick, thick. Um, when I retwist it and then do a braid out, I find that it goes flat. So because I'm actually now semi free forming, this is a braid out on untwisted hair. As you can see, no retwist in sight. And I just feel like I get a fuller look so i personally feel that the best retwist i mean sorry not the best retwist the best braid outs are done on untwisted hair that's just my personal opinion because it gives you a fuller 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 look and the curls hold better that's just my personal opinion so thank you for asking that question and the next question is by Lot Deer. And she says, how to keep locks moisturized without using a lot of products? Now, um, if I was answering this question a few years ago, I'd probably bring out thousands of oils, different oils and stuff like that. But you guys know at the moment, my new regime is no oil. So how I personally, I only can talk from my personal experience of how I keep my locks moisturized is by using sprays, my aloe vera spray or my rosemary spray. These are the two main moisturizing tools that I use to keep my locks, my locks moisturized. And as you can see, this hair was washed and braided yesterday. So you can see I don't know if you can see the shine. You can see the shine here. Um, and it feels moisturized. It feels feels very moisturized. So that's that's all I use. That's all I use at the moment is my moisturizing sprays, which is rose water, sorry rosemary water and aloe vera juice that's it fresh aloe vera juice and rosemary water that is what i use to moisturize my locks so i spray it on the root spray it down the length done simple so i hope that answers your question not here moving swiftly on my next question is from a good friend of mine called deb's and it's what is the best way to prevent the hairline from receding good question now the best way to prevent your hairline from receding is to limit limit the amount of styles that you have so um I, there was a, t a, a time when i used to do a lot of tight styles. I'm gonna show you a few pictures here on the screen of the tight styles that I used to do, and I love them, by the way. But they're, they, I used to do them quite regular, and I noticed that 
my hairline was beginning to recede it started to be a bit thin and um i used to watch a few videos on about traction alopecia and the experience of some there's a woman oh what's her name jasmine rose if you guys know jasmine rose she's got a youtube channel also and she had problems with traction alopecia and it's not a secret she's got a video on it if you want to check it out then do check it out and she had to have a hair transplant so before any of you guys go down that route i would advise not to do too many tight styles although they look fantastic it's not good because it's just pulling they actually pull 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 on your hair follicles and eventually you can get hair loss which is a result of traction alopecia so prevention is better than cure limit the tight styles also keep your locks moisturized so make sure you moisturize the hairline you know make sure it's well moisturized try not to pull too much try not to retwist too tightly and what else in my experience i have to use this because people think well you know when they have like um when they have a method that works they don't like it when you say anything against that method but in my experience um when i used to use uh the interlocking style interlocking method on my locks that's when i found that i used to get a, it used to i used to it resulted in a bit of hair loss so that's why i didn't do that method for long i noticed a difference when you notice a difference in a particular method and it's not good then please stop doing it too much of anything is not good so yeah so in answer to your question Debs don't retwist too tightly keep your hair moisturized and be careful of the methods that you're using to retwist and if you do retwist don't retwist don't retwist too tightly so I hope that answers your question also there can be other factors regarding receding airline which could be hormonal changes if you're going through menopause or you're on medication certain medications can affect your hair you can get hair loss by using certain medication so sometimes the receding hairline can't be helped you just have to go through that process um, until it grows back sometimes it's temporary that the hair loss happens the receding hairline happens and also it could be permanent it depends if you've got thick locks and your locks grow that can result in a receding hairline because the weight of those locks can pull on the hair follicles so that's why if you've got like long locks and you notice that you've you're having a receding hairline or you are noticing hair loss in the root area then that could be a sign for you to trim those locks cut them down to prevent further damage um, and when I think about it that's when I noticed when my hairline was receding was probably the start of um, menopause a lot of you young ladies who follow me might not thinking might be thinking well that doesn't concern you but it's just helpful to know so that when you get to that stage of menopause then it's something to watch out for moving on to the next question why do why does locks pop off at the ends Locks pop off at the ends because the ends, the ends of your locks are the oldest part. So it's just natural, it's a natural part of when you've got locks, they do shed. It's nothing wrong with it. Um, some people might say it's because your hair is dry, that can lead to breakage, which is true. Your hair can break if it's too dry, it's not moisturized. Um, or Another thing why your locks can pop off, which I experience, is using these, if you can see this, these, these guys, rubber bands. Now, 
if you, which has happened to me a lot, um, that's why I don't really use rubber bands too much in the ends of my locks if I'm doing a braid out. I don't use rubber bands, I just braid it right to the ends and then I kind of wrap it around to hold it because these can break your locks. And I'm going to show you an example because I pulled this one off. See this, this is an old lock. If you use a rubber band, can you see there? It can thin right there. Because imagine when you put the rubber band up, what's happening to your lock? What can you see about that lock? If you do your rubber band too tight, you will get indentations in the lock. I hope you can see that. So then when you take that band off, you'll get a mark. So after a while, as your locks grow, it gets weighed down, then it starts to break because it's got tension. It's got lots of tension in the the, the lock so it kind of cuts into it so if you're going to use rubber bands guys just try not to do them too tight or even try and get bigger ones so it doesn't it's not as um i don't know if you can even get thick rubber bands but just try and limit these kind of styles where you have to use rubber bands or try and do an alternative and if you do use rubber bands just try not to use them too often that's it so that's that, that question. Uh, following on, another question from Debs. She, she quotes, I have soft hair, so it's hard to keep my regrowth staying with the locks. So washing my locks unravels the regrowth. What alternative methods can I use to keep the hair fresh in between washes? Now, I know this because I actually do Debbie's hair and her hair is very soft. And unfortunately, there's not really much you can do apart from the braid technique, which is you basically, so you've got the regrowth hair and you've got a bit of hair coming out. You take that hair and you braid it into the base of the lock. So therefore you will have no hairs creeping out and that will kind of help keep your hair in place until you do another retwist. When you wash your locks it's impossible to keep the retwist in. It's gonna unravel because obviously you're gonna be going like this so the 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 roots will loosen up and it will just come out. So in order to to try and hold on to a retwist then maybe just wrap the hairs around just wrap around the hair but to be honest it's just a waste of time um so that's that's the only thing is to do the braid technique if you want your regrowths to last a bit i mean sorry if you want your retwist to last a little bit longer then do the braid technique to kind of keep it on, to, on the locks so it doesn't grow off the base but I would personally I would personally just leave it I won't really mess around with it too much and also if you want to keep it longer you're gonna have to make sure you cover your hair at night to keep the locks in place and as I said before keep it moisturized keeping your hair moisturized will limit breakage Next question, best way, this is from Bev, best way to trim locks. Now, I have cut my locks many, many times of you guys who's been following me for a while will know. Um, obviously you need a good pair of scissors 
make sure they're professional scissors like big scissors or you can use small scissors or the big scissors but make sure they're like sharp and the best way to do it is to get one lock cut and then get the other locks and line them up just line them up and it's so easy I mean my, if you're unsure about trimming your locks then do go and see a professional but I find it easy just to trim the front bits first and then just follow around and make sure you've got a mirror handy so you can turn around and see the back is level or get a friend or get your husband or get somebody to look at the back and um, check that it's level that's the best way to trim locks start with one and then grab how I use how I do it is start with one and then I will grab a few together and then trim it that way that's what that's what I would do and then for the back and as you know I've trimmed I'll put a picture somewhere so you can see when I cut my locks probably back here Oh so guys, I think that's all my questions. I hope I've answered every single one of them. Um, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so you'll be alerted of my up and coming videos. And if you've got any questions or comments, then do pop them in the box below. And do thumbs up the video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and thank you all for watching so as always stay blessed stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you for watching Mwah. bye